Hello everyone! So, today I decided to make a Radiant tutorial and um, the reason for that is because I've got quite a lot of questions from people that they don't know how to do certain stuff in Radiant. So, um, why don't make a tutorial about it? So, as some of you might know or might not know, I was a Call of Duty mapper. I made three jump maps and those are Mountain Base. Canyon and Meh, and um, this map's got quite a good rating, so why not make tutorials then? I like making tutorials, so here we go. So, um, first off, I would like to show you where to get Radiant, and that's right here uh, at modbase.be. So, all you have to do is just press download, and then over here you've got uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mod Tools Radiant go and then over here you can click on download this will download the program and over here is another link and that's the patched um, download you also need to download this because if you don't then uh, you won't be able to place any models in your map any tables or doors one of those things those things so also the site will ask you to um, register before you can download the file so I suggest you do that because if you don't then you'll have to find another site and this one was the only legit one that I could find so feel free to find another one if you wanna just up to you really so now let's get into this here so if you download it, Radiant, you have to extract all the all the files and the maps to your Call of Duty folder. Now, my Call of Duty folder is in the E partition here. Uh, a default installation will extract your files of Call of Duty to your C partition, but mine's not minor here, so yeah, I extracted them here, obviously. So. This is what your map will look like when you've extracted all the folders. Um, these ones are the ones that you have downloaded, I think, and also these two tools and probably these two and probably also quite some other shit. You just have to extract it in here and everything will be fine. Now, how to set up our preferences for Radiant. Um, first you have to go to Compile Tools and open up this program and when you've done that you have to put this path to your Call of Duty folder. This one, just click the map. Uh, okay, that should be fine. Level compiling is just something for in the future. Uh, it's not, we're not gonna be concerned about that right now. Applications uh, I don't think you have to do anything with this. I've heard that you have to click on Run Converter to make Radiant work properly, but I've never done that. And, yeah, well, my Radiant bugs out quite a lot, and it's, fuck, it's a shit program. But, uh, yeah, just feel free to click it. It's quite time-consuming, though, but I don't know if it'll make any difference. So it's up to you. This is just some useless crap and we're done here. Now we open Radiant and when you open Radiant for the first time it'll automatically tell you to open your preferences and make some uh, settings I guess. So here are my settings and if you copy those I think you'll most likely be perfectly fine uh, to start off in Radiant for the next video. So I have selected this because now I can adjust my interface a little bit the way that I want it to be. And um, the rest of all of this is, I don't know what it all is, just kind of self-explanatory really if you read it. Um, here, those two path, paths down here, I don't think they have to be filled in because I haven't really encountered any errors so far with this being empty so uh, 
is probably good, like this. And for the rest, well, I don't know. I think it's pretty much default, so... Well, copy it and you should be fine, so... That's that. Uh, so now you've covered this, in the next video I will just go over these, the interface here and some of the tools that we're gonna use very often. And yeah, I'll just explain you some hotkeys also and some tips and all of that in the next one. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. And yeah, well the installation is not that hard at all actually. So.